is up YouTube World Ride. We are making some fish food. Excuse the mess, there's a lot of stuff on the table. But yes, we're gonna use the eggs to hold the food together. We're gonna use some shrimp, some steak, some fish. It's all raw. Yeah, remember, all raw. Some vitamins, even some spices. Light is horrible. <laughs> and peas and water and some squid. I tried to pot some squid again for the Ray Ill. He didn't like it at all. Like he still remembers that big one he had. A hard time putting down. So we're just gonna add a few to this. Also, they won't. The sickness won't taste it. It'll be all grunched up in here. <laughs> all right. Let's get to it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add just a tad of water. Then we're going to go ahead and add the eggs. Only the white, not the yolk. The way I do it is I usually just break the top off and just kind of hold the yolk in there and let all the white stuff come out, you know, in here, of course. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to add a little water. Make sure it's clean water. You know, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be much at all. I'm going to put the top in and I want to put the phone down to do this. You know that's gonna be my holding. So kind of like that. I break the top open, and then the, the white stuff starts coming out, and then I just kind of, you know, I'll hold it. It will eventually make its way out. Get out. There we go. And then you just do that with two eggs because there's still gonna be a lot left in there. But you don't want to use the yellow stuff. That's way too fatty, and just not good for the health of the fish. It make them all fat and obese. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna do the other egg and then I will be back. All the egg yolk is in there, it should kinda of look like that. So now we got a little bit of more fluid content. And that, that yolk will just hold all this food together so it doesn't just go into the curry and go everywhere. It will actually hold it to a piece to the fish eat it. Now like I said, we're gonna put a few of these in here. So we're gonna go ahead and just start and adding these. I think about, Yeah, they still smell good. They've been in the fridge overnight, defrosting 100%, so it'll be ready. Yeah, just wanted to make sure they still smell good. They do. So, so far I grabbed, I think, eight of them. I went ahead and put eight of them in there, baby squids. And the rest we're just going to kind of throw away because it's just legs and whatnot. Going to do is the steak. Now you don't want to have any of the fat in there because again it doesn't taste good and it's just not good for the fish. And I was looking for beef heart, but you have to go to a really fancy store to find a beef heart. So this is just Soline steak. It's good steak. But um yeah. So we're gonna use some of that and I don't really know what the difference in between steak and beef heart is. I just read about it. And beef heart is beef, it's just really healthy beef. So maybe this steak here is not as healthy, but they're still gonna get a big chunk of protein and grow fast from this. And I'm trying to make it a very heavily meat portion um, compared to the veggie portion. You know, it's gonna be like 80% meats and 20% greens. Like I'm basically just going to take a spoonful out. <laughs> I'm not even going to use a whole jar. Alright, let's go ahead and cut away all this nasty fat stuff. So I went ahead and chopped off all the, the fat stuff and we're just going to go ahead and throw that in there. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's do the fish next because the fish is easy. So the fish all we got to do is All we gotta do is get it out of the package and put it in there. All right. The shrimp is gonna be a little bit harder because we gotta unshell the shrimp. All right. But these shrimp smell delicious. I wanna eat them. Too. Remember, like I said, everything needs to be raw. Um, to unshell a shrimp, the easiest way I can tell to do it is just to squeeze them by the tail really hard, and it will actually make the body kind of come out. And then, of course, I only have one hand, but see, you got the, more, the portion of the tail. And then sometimes there's still a little bit of body on it, you know, so you just kind of work that off real quick. 
on both sides of course and then you got your shrimp and if there's still a leg on there that's not the end of the world legs are okay legs can be chopped up but we're just going to go ahead and get that off and put that in there and I got 12 of them so I got to do it 12 times so we have to squeeze the tail really hard comes right off and then just work with the body both sides should just come right off just like that all right guys I'll be back we got all the shrimp in there not too shabby looking delicious now we're going to do our vitamins and greens and stuff like that so we're going to go ahead and start with this first because this is the hardest one to start with this comes in a pill so what I do is I always grab one pill and I just grease it really hard until it pops and get some of that stuff in there. It's actually really red. I said um, the darn pill, so I'm not going to throw the pill in there, but I'm just going to squeeze it really hard. And that's what happens there. So that is that. And that just helps with coloring and vitamins and eyesight and all the stuff. This is the same thing, just helps with your know, eyes and health and fish live long. This is going to help with pooping. <laughs> and this is also for coloring and stuff like that. Alright. Spices, we are going to do just a tap because this is not going to make a lot of food at all. So you don't want to use a spoonful, you just want to use a little bit. See? Right, maybe just a tad more than that. But that's all you really want to use. You don't want to use a lot because this is spices. Okay, I'm not making that much. The same thing with this, just a little bit. You don't want to use that much because this stuff tastes horrible, you know? It really does. So just, you know, this is a regular size spoon and I'm only putting the very end. So just like a quarter of a spoonful, you know, you're not putting that much in there. And then when it comes to the peas and the zucchini and the spinach and whatever that word is, <laughs> we're just taking a spoon, you know. So remember, it's like, ugh, that stuff is kind of weird. I might, take a, I might take like a nice solid flat spoon of this and then take one more spoon of this. So we took two spoons of the, uh, Peas and one spoon of the spinach and that's it we're gonna go ahead and ground that up because you gotta remember the cichlids they're not gonna really be too excited about anything that smells like vegetables or too high in spices and stuff like that they're not goldfish that will pretty much eat anything I will make for them so this one we have to make more strategically if I pronounce that word right by making sure we use per, you know correct portion so a lot of meat, a very small amount of greens. Uh, since we are making a very small amount of food today, only you know a quarter of a spoon, you know, even less than a quarter of a spoon of spices and minerals and vitamins and stuff like that. And yeah, so awesome. Let's go ahead and grind this up. Now when you grind fish food up, I recommend to leave it chunky so when you get it started, it's going to grind it for a few minutes. No, no, like a few seconds. So it's chunky. You don't want it smooth. You still want the fish to work for it. Oh, it's not plugged in. Holy hell. I'll be back. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it in here. So you don't want it to be too smooth up a little bit and this thing won't hold my phone. Need to be honest with you, I just want to stir it up so I can grind it up a little bit more, but this is pretty much ready. Mm -hmm. So you want it still to be nice and chunky because you want the fish to eat and not drink a slurpy. So yeah, this looks really delicious and it's definitely not green, but it has vegetable contact. So that's good. Awesome. I might add a little bit of a little bit more veggie so they can poop good. This is about another about another spoonful. Make sure we get a good spoonful here. So we added three spoonfuls of peas. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in there too. This is 
this. It looks really red. You can even smell the steak in there. You can smell the steak. You can smell the fish. It's really 